fourth consecutive time, a crowd in excess of 100,000 is expected to be on hand. It's a cold, cloudy, wet day as the Wolverines come onto the football field. This is the 78th meeting between Minnesota and Michigan, the battle for the little brown jug. At the start of the day, the Wolverines led the Hoosiers of Indiana by a half game with Illinois and Michigan State a game and a half back. In Champaign today, with about two minutes to go in the fourth quarter, Indiana very much in the run for the Roses. They lead Illinois 20 to 15. Control that if they're going to beat this football team. That was Ron Getz, the linebacker, their top linebacker, who was late on the scene. Here's a handoff to Bowles across the 50. Bowles to the 45. Very close to a Michigan first down. Second down now, six yards to go. Colazar goes in motion for the Wolverines. No score thus far. Give to Bowles. Bowles to the 35. Fumble. The ball is fumbled at the 35. It's still loose. Michigan's going to pick it up. Nobody could come up with it. Eventually, Demetrius Brown did. So Brown is ready. He's been waiting for this opportunity. He's been waiting as the number two guy, and now he's the guy that has to get it done. Second and six for the Wolverines. Bowles. Bowles to the 25, to the 20, on his feet to the 17. That's another first down for the Wolverines. Game first and 15 after the penalty. This is the ninth play of this drive. Colazar goes in motion, give to Bowles. Bowles inside the 15. He's to the 12, stop there. Tony Bowles, who came into the game with 1,072 yards. So it was a first and goal after the measurement. At the six and a half, Bowles and Bunch in the backfield. Bowles inside the five. He'll make it too close to the three-yard line. Make it too complicated. McMurtry split out. Second and goal now at the three-and-a-half-yard line of Minnesota. Bowles. Bowles fights to about the two. A gain of one hard-earned yard that time. Seven for 48. Now Brown changing the play on a third and goal at the two-and-a-half-yard line. They go to the wishbone. Bowles. And he's about a yard short of the end zone. It's fourth down. Gary Isaacson was there. No, it's too early in the game, Coach, to uh, not at least get something out of this drive, right? Sometimes Especially though, on a wet, rainy day. Sometimes, though, when you feel you're physically better, you, you can be a little more conservative and say, hey, I'll just take my three. I'll be back down here again. So Gillette with the number 19 on his back kicks a 19-yard field goal. And Gillette has his 10th field goal at 15 tries. And so, Michigan takes a three to nothing lead. Being recruited by Michigan, liked what he saw from the upset standpoint and ended up being a golden gopher. Third down, seven now for Minnesota. Schaffner play action, protection is there. Gators, it's intercepted, it's picked up. Trip Welburn, he's to the 30, 25 and he's out of bounds. Play action pass, faking inside to freeze the linebackers. Makes the fake up inside to Daryl Thompson. They have to acknowledge that. Crossing pattern, now he lays it up. It's batted up in the air. And Sullivan Anthony Wellborn comes up with what you said, Gary, his fifth interception on the year. Here he is again. Now you see the crossing pattern to the right side of your screen. Gators number two crossing over there. There the ball goes up high. You know, earlier in the game, he dropped one. He's having a bad day. He's got to make that catch because that counts against the quarterback as an interception. That's playing volleyball with the ball there. Demetrius Brown, the quarterback, replacing Taylor, who injured his shoulder. Give to Bowles. Bowles, 15. And Bowles has a first down at the 12-yard line for the Wolverines. Callaway goes in motion. 9-11 to go in the second quarter. This time, it's going to be Bunch. Bunch inside the 10. He's to the 8-yard line. Bunch and Bowles in the backfield behind Brown. Two wideouts, top of the field. Brown looking that way. He's got a quarterback draw. Brown is not going to go anywhere. Fooled nobody. It was a broken play. That was a broken play. A mistake in execution of the play. A 25-yard field goal attempt. Ken Solemn to hold, Gillette to kick it. The ball is on the way, and the kick makes it 6 to nothing in favor of Michigan. 6 nothing with 7.27 to go in this first half. But twice, Minnesota's denied them the touchdown. Minnesota did a good job of renting the six points when you turn the ball over down there like that to a big physical team like Michigan. Gillette now the 11 field goals, the all-time kick-scoring leader at Michigan. This will be Chris Gators, and Gators will bring it up to 25 to the 27-yard line, and that's where Minnesota will have it. And it's fumbled, and Michigan's got it. 45, that's Brian Townsend, a freshman out of Cincinnati. Looks like Lance Dotton, who was a 
high school teammate of Schaffner was the guy yes. that made the tackle. There he is. There's Dotton. the ball on the ground. Yep, but Dotton, 22, you saw him. He's a high school teammate. I resent that. I'm left handed. I know you are. That's Second down 10. Here is Bowles Ooh. to the 20. Look at the leg drive by Bowles. He makes it to the 17, and Joel Stats eventually caught up with him. Gillette's already kicked two. They don't get it here. They'll call on him again. Put backs this time. In motion comes forward to the near side. Brown back, pressure coming. Broken up beautifully in the end zone. That was a fine play by Sean Lumpkin, the true freshman against Derek Walker, the tight end. And this is another 25 yarder. He hit one earlier from there. The kick by Gillette is on the way and it's now a nine to nothing game. But you gotta give this Minnesota defense a heck of a lot of credit. You bet the defensive coaching staff dip fiddle the inside the coaches and inside linebackers and coordinates the defense. Bob Mathis and the defensive line coach Bill Miller. Those guys are doing a real good job. Nine to nothing in favor of Michigan. Two back-to-back -back first down. Sets it up with the Michigan 45. Schaffner, little shovel pass forward. This is Gould, the fullback. He breaks across the 25 to the 20 and out of bounds. You can see Gould's speed as he got on the open field and Minnesota's fired up. David Key over to make the stop. Lombardi Allen trophy candidate, third down six. They have two timeouts remaining. 37 seconds when they snap the ball. Schaffner near side. The catch is made. It's made on the near side by Jason Bruce. First you're and goal from the eight. You're almost forced to throw the football. Schaffner. Handoff. Thompson. Thompson. Inside the five to the four. 16 seconds. They're going to have to use the timeout. Better get it called. Yep, they did. Schaffner wants to throw. Scrambles out of the pocket. Stays on his feet. He's belted. The ball is loose. And who's got it? Beta Murray made a heck of a hit on him. And it's Michigan's football. Third turnover in the game by Minnesota. Mark Schaffner at the quarterback position, wanting to throw over here a slant pattern to the left side of your screen. Defense takes it away. He scrambles up outside now. Here he comes. Good pressure by the defensive rush. Now, Veda Murray, number 37, or 27, right there. Good pop on him right there. Knocked the football out. <laughs> That's a tough break and a great play on the defense, but a tough break for Minnesota. And, it's and they're very thin at the linebacking core at best. Well, Second they down and six. They put Eddie Miles in there. Bowles again, 40, 45, and he's to the 49-yard line. First down, Michigan. First down at the Michigan 49. This time, the fullback, Bunch. And Bunch picks up some yardage close to the 45 of Minnesota. Maybe even further. Let's see where they're going to mark it. Second down, three for Michigan. From the 44 of Minnesota, 9-0. We've just begun the second half. Bunch again, 35. Bunch to the 30. Bunch inside the 30 to the 27. And was that a powerful run? Boy, there's getting great movement now in the inside of the line by John Vitale, number 67, and Dingman. And I wonder what Bo says at halftime. He really gets his team ready, doesn't he? The we start of the second half. I don't think we could repeat it on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Round the ball. 20, 15, 10, first and goal. Three times now, Michigan hadn't been able to get in the end zone. Inside the 10, and Minnesota's trying to keep that string going. Brown gives up, and they're not going anywhere. Bowles is stacked up, and I just can't get over how gritty, determined, and inspired this Minnesota defense they're, has been. They're playing their hearts out down there. And, you know and this time, it's going to be another 25-yarder, maybe be a 26. Looks like they're, make that a 21-yarder. A 21-yard kick. And Gillette's kick is on the way, and it's good. So Gillette is perfect. As an end result, the Wolverines of Michigan have taken a 12 to nothing lead at the 9.56 mark of the second, third quarter. Second down, eight now for the Wolverines. 12 nothing, continuing to rain. Boy, it has been a wet, sloppy day. Brown back to throw. Derek Walker, the tight end, first down to the 45. So Gillette, who downed his own punt the last time, will get this one, the snap, and the boot. Not a good one, but it may take a bounce. Splashes inside the 10, 5, 
Did they kill it in the field of play? I think they may have. Second down, a long 12 to go for Schaffner and the Gophers. Thompson. And Thompson brings it out close to the 15-yard line. Thompson. Linebackers in the Big Ten. Bo thinks he's one of the best. Third down, a long seven. Schaffner, Gators, he can't hang on. And Gators has had a long day. He has. He doesn't like the cold weather. He's from Zanesville, Ohio. He should Doesn't like it. Yeah, he should like it. This Herbal, you know what they call him? A puntaholic. He likes to punt the football so much they call him a puntaholic. I've never heard that term before. Colasar from the 50. 40. Still on his feet. What a run by Colasar to the 30-yard line. John Colasar having a strong game. 22-yard return. 37-yard punt. Michigan has a football. Third down, three now for Michigan. Just underway in the fourth quarter. Brown wants to throw. He's got time. Throwing. McMurtry wide open. Touchdown, Michigan. This is just a straight drop back pass. You see Demetrius coming out there again, Gary. Look at that left-handed pass. <laughs> hey, not too bad, though. Right where he had to go, as you can see the safety was way back up inside. And Charles McCree, number three, was rotated up in the flat. It was definitely a two-deep zone with uh, covering four short. And he just beat the safety. The safety didn't keep going to the corner. Take another look at it. Here he is laying it right where he had to throw it. Outside. Here it is. Right where he had to put it. Schaffner diving, and Minnesota has scored. Schaffner diving straight ahead. That's his third touchdown rushing to the air. Geyer will kick off for Minnesota. 19-7, the Wolverines. And he's going to try the onside kick. Did it go far enough? No, it didn't. Boy, that was a very peculiar kick. He almost missed the ball. It looked to me I like... Have, I've seen people do that before successfully. It looked like he almost missed the ball, and Michigan's going to have the football. He did that on purpose. He, it didn't go 10 yards. They'll be going against Indiana, who lost by one today to Illinois. Third down, seven. With a double pass, it works. Ford breaking out of there. First down inside the 25. Lumpkin on the stop for that. Sunbolt's played a strong game. Here is Brown rolling to the near side on a second and 16. Up the field and the ball is caught. That was Greg McMurtry coming back. McCree defending on it. It's going to be a 34-yard attempt. So this is for a Michigan record at the 525 mark of the fourth quarter. Well, he's 79% good in his career from this distance. The kick by Gillette is on the way, and we have a new Michigan record. Five field goals in a game for Gillette. He's the catcher on the Michigan baseball team, an outstanding athlete, and he's given the Wolverines a 22 to seven lead. With 4.43, it's a third and 14 for the Gophers. Oh, he's in trouble, and he almost got thrown for a safety by Messner. No, no I think they hit Yeah, him they got him at the two, but I mean, it was close. I'm not sure he knew where he was because he was backpedaling so quickly, and Messner was bearing down and dropped him, and they're going to mark him. Oh, well, it's all over. Michigan remains unbeaten in Big Ten play. They're 5-0-1, 6-2-1 on the air. Minnesota now 0-4-2 in the Big Ten. And the little brown jug will stay in Ann Arbor. And the guy carrying it off had an awful lot to do with that. Mark Messner, 22-7, Michigan, over the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. 